Oh, it's fishing time, boys and girls. Hey, guys, Greg's 96 here, along with... Well, what up, Captain Hook 5050? How's it going, man? It's going. What's going on? How you doing? I'm living the dream. Living the dream, living the life. So we actually... Zombies, zombies that have hats on can go out in the sunlight. Yes. Okay. So oh, Tim no, and I no. just started having a very interesting conversation, and then I realized yes. we should make a video while we're having this interesting conversation. Makes sense. Because we were talking about YouTube and non-specifically other industries, and that, like, because it came about because I've been recently going back to some of my old content, like, back in the MacBook days. And, like, I'll, I, I've told this story several times, and I like telling this story because I just think it's hysterical, and that way back when, when I used to first make videos, I would screen record the entire screen to get my video mm -hmm. and then to get the audio, since I couldn't do desktop audio capture, I would play Skype and the game sounds over my speakers and the internal microphone of my laptop would pick that up. That's actually pretty me, brilliant. To give me the sounds of the people I'm playing with and the game I'm playing. <laughs> That's actually, you know, I didn't even think about that. Like, I... I like that's that's what I did for literally like my first ten or fifteen videos. Necessitation is the mother of invention. That's true, because like I Something really like wanted. To, I think it's necessity is the mother of invention. I, so you were close. Yeah. Close. You were damn close. But like we were talking about that, and then we started talking about like what would have happened because that sh and like my video quality was low because I used QuickTime Player's built-in screen recorder because it was free because <laughs> it came with my MacBook. Yep. And I edited an iMovie, and my very first intro was just a picture. Like it's wow. it was something. G Griffin and I made fun of my uh, actually Griff. You guys may remember Griffin if you've been around for a while. Captain Derp. He doesn't really talk to us anymore. No, um, can't blame him. I I can't either. I'm a pretty shitty person. <laughs> but anyways, like we did the one year anniversary of my channel where Griffin and I watched and reacted to uh, the first video because he was in my first video. We started. Really? To, yep, we started together. Um, it was actually him who convinced me I should start making videos. Griffin. Yeah. Really? I know, isn't it weird? That is messed up. Okay. I didn't, <laughs> didn't see that coming. I... <laughs> but, like, no, if you go back, like, literally, of my first 10 or 15 videos, he was probably, in, like, my first 15 videos, he was probably in, like, 12 of them. <laughs> wow. And, like, okay. Sam started in around, like, video 7 or 8. So, like, I started doing it with those guys. Okay. I just didn't expect, I mean, I kind of figured Sam, you know, um, and Noel and Liberty, but I didn't really expect Griffin because. Yeah. Griffin, Griffin, I Sam. actually, <laughs> I knew Griffin before I knew Liberty or Noel. Really? Even though Liberty and Noel, we went to the same school. I had only like briefly in passing ever spoken to Noel because he was a freshman my senior year. Oh, uh, I didn't realize he was that much younger. Or maybe he was a sophomore. But even so, I didn't speak to him that much. Um, just because, like, my senior year on shop week, I was actually working at co-op. So I didn't even go to school on my shop week. I went to a job. Okay. Because I went to a trade school where they can do that stuff. Gotcha. Um, so, like, I knew Griffin, like, before I knew any of those guys. I knew Sam first because Sam and I had a comp sci class together junior year of high school. I actually really love telling this story, and he hates it every time I tell it. The first first the first quarter of that class, on his report card, the teacher gave him a 99. Okay. And he was pissed about it. A 99? Well, here, there's a reason he was pissed about it. Because he went and talked to the teacher and asked, you know, why it was a 99 and didn't get rounded up. And she said, well, because Greg has 107 in this class, and I had to round him down to a 100. Oh. <laughs> so I can't possibly round you up to a 100. It's just not fair. Got he was him. pissed at me. He got a 99 in a class because I got 108. <laughs> <laughs> So he was not very happy about it. It's funny though. Yeah. So I I knew Sam first, 
Um, but I didn't talk to him all that much. I didn't really talk to him until senior year. We had a physics class together senior year, AP physics. So I started oh. talking to him more senior year. But by that point, in August of 13, right before my senior year, that's when I started doing the videos. Um, okay. Well, I had met Griffin through an old server I used to play on by the name of Blocktown. Um, actually, this this video has divulged into a different interesting conversation than we even planned. Right. We were going to talk about like the golden age of YouTube and like when the perfect time to gotten into it would be and why we're just wasting our times so and we're never going to grow. But we're talking about we'll, this instead. <laughs> and, we'll, and we'll still come back to that. We'll still yeah. circle. We around. might it, we might circle around in Tim's video depending on how long this one goes, but True. it'll happen at some point. Yes. <laughs> that conversation will happen. Yes. But anyways, so um so yeah, I had hit, met him through Blocktown. That was the server I very famously got banned from. <laughs> I don't think I've ever told that story. We'll come to that in a different video. I've already gone off on enough of a tangent in this one. Um, so, yeah, so I met Griffin through this server. He originally became friends with my sister because she was very active on this server. Um, and I started talking to some of the people that played on the server, the ones that didn't piss me off because they were mostly 12-year-olds. Oh. And I was going into senior year of high school. Yes. But, like, you know, so that happens. But Griffin was older. He was, like, 14 or 15 at the time. Mm -hmm. So he was a little bit younger than me, but not, like, stupid young. Because I only turned 17 in my senior year of high school. Okay, so I was, like, the same then. Okay. Yeah, because I have the November birthday, so I started school at 4. So, gotcha. um, for me, that age gap wasn't huge. So I was talking to him. And I had been bouncing around the idea of doing videos, and he, like, really convinced me to do it. And I was like, well, dude, I don't know what I'm going to talk about in a video by myself. You got to be there for the first one. He's like, okay. And we played Blitz Survival Games. Or not Blitz Survival Games. Uh, survival Games on MCSG, if you remember that server. Oh, yeah. That was the, like, original survival game server. That's uh, isn't that the one that uh, Beijing Canadian started on? It might be. It was also like the first ever faction server I played on on a really overpowered faction. Um, side note on that one, the faction I played on on that server, we actually got to a point where we were so powerful that the admins and ops on the server created an army to come take over and defeat us. Wow. It took people with, like, notch apples and fully enchanted diamond gear to take us down. Get wrecked. Like, we were the richest faction on the server, and we had the richest person on the server. <laughs> like, gave it. we were up top. And there was actually... that That's actually how we met that one Tomahawk. He was part of the coup of people that took us down. Um, I see. Back then, he was at like 16,000 subscribers as a Minecraft channel, which I think he had gained just enough before Minecraft kind of took a nosedive on YouTube to grow mm. further. Um, I'm going to look him up on my phone real quick. Let's see what he's at now, if he's even still making videos. While I'm waiting for a fish to bite. Because, like, that dude, he was, like, being all nicey-nice with us, and then he freaking turned on us and took us down because he wanted the resources. Wow. He was an asshole. Sounds like it. He, yeah, okay, that sounds about right. Last time I think I looked for him, he was at about 110,000 subscribers, and that was, like, a year and a half ago. He's at 111,000. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if he's posted a video in a while, though, so that could be a part of it, I guess. Yeah, his 100,000 subscriber special was two years ago. And he's at 111,000. Oh, he also hasn't posted a video in a year, so that would do it. So yeah, he stopped even making videos. So ha, I outlasted you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. And it's nighttime, so back in the house to finish this story. Nighttime. Ain't oh, I, <laughs> I was just fast reeling back to shore, and right before my line would have come right to my rod, a fish hit. Of course. Like, right at the shoreline, a fish hit. 
That's happened to me in real life before, actually. Where, like, I'm not... Actually, that happened last weekend when we went back up to Winnipesaukee. My dad was like, all right, we're going to move spots. So I'm just reeling in fast, and a fish comes up and hits it. Like, two feet out in, from, in front of the boat. It was like, wow. oh, okay. You say so, Mr. Fish. You can do whatever you want, but... Oh, God, I have, like, zero water, so I'm walking super slow. I'm also going to cook this fish here, because I have a big fish now with the combination of all of them. Um, But anyway, so where was I? Talking about... Yeah, so, like, I recorded my first videos with speakers feeding into my microphone directly and, like, super janky like that. Um, and I was recently watching some of my old videos again, and it wasn't until like maybe my 30th video I ever posted that I even seemed like I might have a position belonging on making a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> because it was legitimately the type of thing where it's like, why, why, why would anyone have watched that crap? I got you. I'm with you, though. With me on what? <laughs> the early days of... Oh, right. Okay, so yeah, actually, I... the video's only been 11 minutes, so we'll just loop back into what the original topic of this conversation was going to be. Because Tim made a comment about, can you imagine if we started this back in, like, 2007, where we'd be? <laughs> the golden days. I can tell you where we'd be. We'd probably be doing about the same as my buddy Cody. <laughs> Oh, yes. I think he started back then. And now he's yeah. doing all sorts of desperate things. I haven't had a good conversation with him in a while, but he's doing desperate stuff. Making spin-off sister channels. and Yeah, poor bastard. It was good while it lasted. I would imagine... Very much so. <laughs> Tim's on his way to go Burning Man. <laughs> Uh-oh. I accidentally cooked too big of a fish. I have an 8-ounce cooked fish if you'd like it. Um, I have uh, a fish, too. So, I made a 30-ounce fish. I was at zero. Ooh. Or I made, like, a 33-ounce fish. I was at zero. So, I don't think we should go much bigger than, like, 24. No, I would agree. I have, actually, I have one that's 12.29, and I think that's going to be about good. Well, I mean, if you're at, like, very bottom of the barrel. But yeah, back then, man, you could, like, anything you put on on YouTube would get views. Oh, Yeah. Like, that was back before you had to have, like, proper thumbnails and clickbaity titles. and See, the thing I actually regret the most, and this is going to sound really stupid, I know. I got into online video creation in about 2009. Really? So, so I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, what the fuck, Greg? You should be, like, actually somewhere. <laughs> I started with Facebook video. Was that a thing back then? It was. It wasn't like the super marketed platform. I did Facebook video on a Facebook page I had. MySpace. It wasn't a it wasn't gaming <laughs> content though. It was not gaming content. Um as some of y'all know if you've been around the channel for any length of time, <laughs> I am a uh, at this point, I'm a bit out of practice, so I would say I'm a rat. Ah, oh, frick, I walked into the fire. <laughs> so at this point, I would say I am a rather amateur magician. Um, back when I practiced a lot, I actually did, like, really well. Um, so my old brand was actually Carlson Magic, which every once in a while on this channel, I do a Carlson Magic Presents video, and I do something like that. But that, that was actually my first foray into online content creation. I was doing video and video editing and online content in, like, 2009. 
but oh. I picked the wrong platform. <laughs> and actually, Facebook was only the evolution of the platform. Initially, the way my online video content was delivered was as an email list. <laughs> so I really picked the wrong platforms for this thing. Wow, yes, you did. We might be in a totally different place right now if I had just picked the goddamn right platform. Like, if I had just picked YouTube back then, I... I, I won't say I'd be big. I would say I'd probably be doing better than 500 subscribers with an average of 10 views per video, though. Probably. Because even, like, my Facebook videos were hitting better than 10 views per video. Wow. So back in 2009, eight years ago, I was getting better average views and click-throughs than today, when I was a freaking 12-year-old. <laughs> This goes to show you that, that, like, content creation back then was a freaking piece of cake. Compared to now. And now it's like everyone and their brother has a YouTube channel. It's pretty accurate. So basically, I just, I, I picked the wrong platform twice. And by the time I finally broke and picked the right platform, it didn't matter. Because, like, I had started a, a YouTube channel that I think still exists, even prior to the Greg C96 one, for that brand. And, like, some of those videos actually have three, four, five hundred views. Wow. I just lost the interest. Because it was the type of thing where I now saw everybody else. Because it was, like, 2012, probably, by the time I got around to making the YouTube channel for it. Okay. So, at that point, I already kind of missed. Like, not as yeah. bad as starting in, like, 2013, 2014 when I did. But, like, I had already, I missed my mark. So I just lost the interest in creating videos. And then I decided I wanted to do gaming videos because I, I actually didn't get into Minecraft until, like, 1.3. And that was really the first PC gaming I had done in a long time. That's way before me. Oh, you got 1.3s before you? Oh yeah, I didn't get in until one six four and Oh like, wow. Literally um I was in one six four for about maybe a month before it went to one seven. Wow. Okay. I thought you were in way earlier than that. Well I started off with uh pocket edition. Oh right. So I didn't get into PC Minecraft for Right, because you only had the shitty well, alienware well. things. Or did we not even have those yet? I no, I started on on an iPod Touch. Wow. Okay. I did not know that because, like, literally, I had not played a PC game other than something like from MiniClip or CandyStand.com in years. Like all of my first videos were were uh, from Pocket Edition on a little iPod Touch. Wow. Yeah. Never, never would have guessed that one. Yeah. But like, I, yeah, because um, actually something I am planning on doing very soon here on the channel. And by very soon, that just means within the next couple of months, really. Um, And I think I'll say that and end the video because we're coming up on a daytime, which means a good point for you to start your video. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be revisiting and playing the very first PC game I ever played. Do you have any guesses as to what it might be, Tim? The first PC game that you ever played. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. it's a little obscure, I think, but it is like a classic title. Test drive. No. Okay. I Good guess though. That. Oregon Trail Two. Oregon Trail. I never played the sequel. But... I never played the original. Ah, well. Um. So I... yeah, Oregon Trail Two. I have me a Windows 95 VM on my computer, and I have the original disc for Oregon Trail 2. Really? I'm going to... <laughs> yeah, I have that disc out at my other desk. So I'm going to plunk it in, throw it in my VM, and go wild. And nice. I am going to do a Let's Play in 2017 of Oregon Trail 2. That's That's fantastic. I like that. I almost feel like that's going to get better views than a lot of what I do. <laughs> just just being honest, like, 
Something I thought about doing a couple of years back, because actually, even to this day, you don't see like anyone doing it. I think I've always thought that a Let's Play of the Kingdom Hearts series of games could be very lucrative on YouTube. Suppose. And to this day, I like only know of one person with any like actual decent subscriber count that ever did a Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. So... Mm. I don't know. Could be a thing. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to wrap it up, though. Uh, you guys know the drill. Like, dislike, do all the things. Blah, 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 blah. Go watch Tim. BigBoxGamers.com. Peace! Oh. <laughs> hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you liked it, why not check out one of these two previous videos? Or, if you're in the mood to watch more later, but not now, that's cool, too. You can check out more by subscribing to myself or to the Big Box of Gamers. Just be sure to hit that little bell icon after you've done it, so YouTube will notify you when we post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.